Margot, and I uh, want to thank Sinn Féin yet again for the second motion on this issue in, I think it's seven months. Um, uh, j just Deputy Whitmore said something there about what are you going to do if there's a full out strike, what would that look like? Well I remember a full out strike of the fire service in Dublin airport in the late 1990s. The Ryanair baggage handlers had gone on strike and solidarity for them started to spread through every sector starting with the shop workers of Arienta and on to the uh, airport police and ultimately to the firefighters in Dublin airport. And when the firefighters took a vote to come out in solidarity with the Ryanair baggage handlers, the airport shut down. Because you can't run an airport or anything else safely without a fire service. That's how serious it is taken. The airport literally shut down. And within minutes, and it was nearly midnight, the government under Fianna Fáil intervened and began to try and sort it out. But at least they intervened and they didn't get full recognition but they did get an outcome to that dispute at the time because the firefighters and the action they took made Fianna Fáil and their government sit up and realise, oh be gob, we better do something about this because they're not messing. And to be honest, uh, Minister, when you look what do retained firefighters do, you spoke about it quite eloquently yourself earlier on, but it sounded like two different people speaking because on the one hand, you're eloquently putting yourself on side with them, you have solidarity and understanding and empathy, and on the other, you then um, put, put the knife in and turn it in terms of what they're trying to do. But if you look up what their role is, the one thing that's striking you when you look at every county across the state are desperately trying to recruit uh, new firefighters because of a chronic shortfall. Whether it's West, Wexford, Watford, Sligo, etc., everybody can talk about their own area. But this crisis is not new, and that's for sure. And it's telling that the resources and the supports are so low down the priority of your government that this service lurches from crisis to crisis. Two years before they tragically died, both Mark O'Shaughnessy and Brian Murray took part in a protest in Bray to highlight safety concerns around the understaffing in the station. That was just two years before they were killed. And it has still gone on. Whenever we ask questions in this House, we are effectively told by ministers and by the Taoiseach today that this is an issue for the relevant local authority or the CEO of the local authority, and technically that's correct. But the provision and resourcing of fire services cannot and should not be left to a disjointed and fractured system of accountability. It needs and deserves central government planning, resourcing and oversight, and passing the book to 30 separate local authorities when the crisis we are discussing is clearly nationwide and has new elements that can only be addressed centrally is no longer good enough. And then when you take the, the idea that retained firefighters must live within a certain distance of their station and to be able to get there within five minutes, given the chronic housing and accommodation shortage that we face nationally, it's hardly surprising that the pool of potential firefighters is immediately reduced given the inability to access housing in many of the areas and towns and regions of the state. I note that the workers have voted for an, by an astonishing majority to take action on this and I know many, uh, many of them feel that it's a sort of desperation after years and years, it is really decades, of trying to get the state at a local and a national level to take note of this. And Minister, just to remind you, you and your government have the capacity to resolve this, to solve this dispute now and stop passing the book to local authorities or anybody else, but accept the Sinn Féin motion here tonight and act on it and ensure that local authorities have the resources they need to provide the services and treat workers with the respect that they deserve. I'm struck by a number of things in your counter motion. This is the second uh, motion that all debate, as I said, on retained firefighters in seven months, and the issue has been alive for many, many years. And we have known this for many years, and, and it has come back to this stall, even before, long before I was in, and I'm not in it that long, that this was an issue that governments really need to sort it out. But now, today, yourself and Taoiseach Leo Varadkar keep repeating the same mantra that we've heard for years and years, that the public sector pay deal is so sacred it must not be upset. Oh, we'd love to help you, but the public sector pay deal says no. And this is extraordinary because last year we stood with laboratory scientists and technicians who also were forced out on strike because they faced huge issues, glaring injustice, pay inequality and were forced out to take action against the health services and they were met with the same robotic rhetoric. The public sector pay deal says no. 
And the same was with it, true with the nurses and the student nurses during COVID who had to go out and protest and we were constantly told, can't deal with that, it's not part of the public sector pay deal, that you can't cherry pick one thing to deal with the other. And this is the excuse that you're using to justify absolutely do nothing. But if there's one lesson we can learn from this, it is that one size does not fit all. And that it's shameful that in a government that had negotiated a public sector, sector pay deal should now use that to stop yourselves being responsible and acting responsibly for outstanding issues in key parts of that public sector. In your motion we see a shameful attempt to point the finger of blame at the workers themselves for this dispute, warning that the dispute has created a high-risk environment. It's the government that have created a high-risk environment and not the workers. And I also note that we will now have two other fora, one overseen by David Begg and a separate one by Ulton Courtney. And let's hope that these deliver. But what an elaborate and Byzantine process to resolve an issue that you could literally uh, sort out overnight with the political will to take this service seriously, you could do that and treat these workers with the respect that they deserve. And when I say that, I know everybody else is thinking, but of course they could breed. They sorted out the banks when they collapsed overnight. And Fianna Fáil were in power the last time. Overnight, they sorted out the banks and stepped in to bail them out. But you never seem to be able to step in to bail out workers, even those whom we need the most in, uh, in our towns and cities. And shame on you for not doing so on this occasion.